What's going on, guys? Alex, the Asian truck driver. Welcome to the show. Uh, you know, on the show, we talk about motivation, trucking, innovation, inspiration, and of course, life. <laughs> but please, 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 please subscribe, like, and share because I'm doing this content for you guys. I'm trying to make it entertaining. I'm trying to make it fun because I know a lot of trucking videos can be boring. So if you like the content, please hit that button. I appreciate you guys. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Alex, the Asian truck driver. So for today's video, let's talk about weight stations, okay? Because with my experience, I've noticed that there's always a lot of confusion with this. And because of that, I want to tell you the truth about certain things. The one topic I want to talk about today specifically is I want to talk about what happens when you pass a weight station? What can you do? You know, what are the myths about that? And how can you prevent this from happening again? Okay, so first off, let's talk about weight stations. All right, the reason for weight stations is not just to weigh your truck. No, someone asked me a myth about if you're empty, do you still have to go into the weight station? Yes, because they're still checking other things. They wanna make sure that when you're going on their roads in their state, that your, your truck is in a good condition. You're not leaking fluids all over the place. So there's that, plus a lot of small states, they gotta make their money, right? So if they pull you in for inspection and you got something that needs to be fixed, you can't move your truck. You know, I'll tell you a quick story. You know, I had my, my truck was great, right? One of my hoses, I think my red air hose had a little cut in it. It wasn't even like a cut cut. It was just like, it looked like it had a little scratch on it. They made me drop my trailer, drive an hour, to go get a hose or call a mechanic to come bring a hose to put one on. That's how much they want to make money sometimes, right? So there are all these myths about weight stations, but the one myth that is true, if you pass one, they will chase you down. So let me give you a quick story. I was in California. I was on the 101. I was driving. I was dumb. I was new and I was daydreaming. What did I do? I drove and I passed it, right? After that, guess what I did? I drove back around like I thought I was supposed to do. And when I did, I went in and I explained myself. The weight master chewed me the hell out. You know, he gave me a ticket. I forgot what it was. It was like $250. And he was pissed off and it, it ruined the day. And the after he gave me the ticket, he was like, so when you passed, did anyone chase you down? And I said, no, sir, no one chased me down. I just came back because I didn't know what to do. You know, he was like, you know, running a weight station is like running a red light. If you, have you ever ran a red light, son? I said, uh, accidentally, sir. And what happened when a cop didn't see you or a CHP or state trooper didn't see you? I just kept on going. He goes, to tell you the truth, you could have just kept on going. So one thing that is true, and I'm telling you this from my experience, right? Others could chime in is if you pass a weight station and you feel screwed, pull over after 10 minutes, you're gonna know if you are in trouble or not because you got, you'll got you have like two or three uh, CHP or state troopers freaking going down and they're gonna, they're gonna chase and hunt you down. So if you're waiting like 10, 15 minutes with your four ways on and no one has chased you down, just count your blessings and keep on going. So prevention, how to prevent this, all right. If it says closed, if it says pass by, then just pass by because it's closed and there's a big ass sign that tells you so, right? If it says closed and as you're passing and you're not past jet and then it's smack, it lights on open and you don't go in, believe me when I say they will still chase you down, okay? So the rule of thumb is, unless you see it say closed or pass down, right? Or a pass, uh, a pass, a pass or a cross or whatever, you know, the X sign. All right, those are 100% indications that the way station is closed. But if it does not say that and you feel in your mind, wait up, I don't know if it's closed or open, go in, okay? So that is the tip of the day. When you're not sure if the weight station is open or closed, just go in. Because I can't tell you how many times 
I'm cruising, I'm on a random ass highway, and then it says wait station, and then I go, and then I, I veer right, I go in, and it's nothing there. It's literally like a, a rest area slash stop, and you know, I'm confused, I don't know what's going on, I'm a little embarrassed, and I drive past it, right? But there's a reason for that, because sometimes these wait stations, the state, they have a day where they do waits, and then it's a mobile wait that they bring over to the rest areas, and that does happen, and it's happened to me. So watch out for wait stations and things that say rest area. Be careful of the signs, okay? So when in doubt, go in. Hopefully you liked the video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, this is a big deal. Uh, they don't teach you enough. And I'm telling you, this could keep you safe and it could keep you on the road and it could keep your, your scores up. So peace again, guys.